Hey what's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be unboxing the DJI Mini 2. Now the reason why I picked up this drone is because of the weight. Coming in at under 250 grams, you don't need to have this registered. Also it's said to be one of the best beginner drones. You may have seen a ton of videos on this product before. However, those videos are done by professionals. But what about the average person who just wants a drone for a hobby or possibly wants to get great photos for social media? I don't have a background in drones Let's see how hard the learning curve is and also is it really worth purchasing. Be sure to hit that subscribe button while you're here. I cover a large range of products on my channel. This includes gaming laptops, gaming computers, PC builds, electric scooters, cameras, drones, phones, tablets. Get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of my future content. Let's hop into the unboxing of the DJI Mini 2. So taking a closer look at the product before we get into the box, um, as you can see it says it's an ultra lightweight drone less than 249 grams which is a big selling point for most beginners because a lot of us who's just trying to fly drones we don't want to have to go through registration and you know drone licensing and all that stuff we just want to get something that can take some really cool photos and have a great experience with it also has a level 5 wind resistance which is pretty good for something this small I like the packaging. So up top we have the drone. Again, this is really small, but this is what you want when you're flying a beginner drone. We have the gimbal protector. We'll take a closer look at this in a second. Let's see what else comes in the box. Here we have some documentation. We have the manual. Quick start guide. Here's that USB-C cable for charging. We have two sets of extra propellers. And we have those extra screws for the controller. Speaking of the controller, it should be in here somewhere. Here's that screwdriver for adjusting the propellers. These are the RC cables for connecting to your phone to the controller, which will then sync up to the drone itself. Place it on the side. And in the bottom here is the controller. So that's all that comes in the box. Let's take a closer look at the controller and then we'll take a look at the drone. Wow, DJI. Now I do have a few DJI products. If you saw my last video on the DJI Osmo Action, you'll see I've been with DJI since the Osmo 3. So looking at the controller, we can see we have a few options. Um, here is the return to home option, the power on and our flight modes are right up front. The back of the controller, we have some air for ventilation. That's pretty cool, the grips. This material is also a type of like silicone rubber, so it helps you grip the controller better. It feels good in the hand. So this is where you place your cell phone. And also these work as antennas as well. So it allows you to keep the drone in line of sight. So if we look at the bottom, we'll see we have the storage locations for the thumbsticks and also the USB-C charging. So let's get this out and have that screwed into the controller. So we have three cables 
all of which have USB-C on one end, but on the other side, they're all different. One has the lightning port for Apple, the other has another USB-C for Android, and the last one has micro USB for older Android phones. For me, I'll need the USB-C to USB-C cable for the Galaxy S21. Be sure to check out my review of this phone on my channel. See the link above. And I'll just place this in here for when um, the controller is already charged up and the drone is charged up, updated and ready to go. I'll have all the cables I need. Okay, so now that we have the controller set up, let's take a closer look at the drone. It's pretty light. It's pretty compact. So let's take some of these stickers off. At the rear, we have the USB-C charging port and a micro SD card slot. On this side, again, the folding instructions, starting with the front legs, fold that out first, and then we fold the rear legs after. This is the gimbal cover for the camera, so this prevents it from being damaged. We have some vents up front for cooling the drone when flying, altitude sensing, and here's the button to turn the drone on. Let's see if we can get the battery out. And that's what it looks like in there. So according to the packaging, this battery should give you 31 minutes of flight time. So following the instructions, we'll fold the front legs first. And then we'll fold the rear legs out, pushing down. So there it is, the DJI Mini 2. I'll be testing this in the next couple of weeks and months. I'll be posting a few videos updating you guys on how the drone is performing and how I feel about the build quality, its performance, and if it's worth picking up for the average person. I'll get this controller set up and I'll take this drone for the first flight. Hey guys, so this is my first flight with the DJI Mini 2. Let's take this up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. I have 94% battery life with 10 satellites. Go up a bit higher now. Maximum flight altitude reached. So guys, this is my like third time flying the DJI Mini 2. Um, there were a few things I had to learn, like um, signing in would unlock a larger, I guess, um, flight distance and flight range. Um, when you're not signed into the Fly app, which I thought I was, it limits you to um, 50 meters, um, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get this um, up in the air and let's see how, um, how it performs. So I'll start recording now. I have 77% battery life. Um, so I've started recording and I'm gonna get the drone to take off now. Push the control stick to make the aircraft ascend. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I'm gonna rotate. Control aircraft to descend. So I'm going up higher and higher. I'm gonna turn. And I'm gonna go forward a little bit. So let's explore somewhat of the neighborhood. Maximum flight altitude reached. Okay, so I do see that error. So I had to exit the tutorial just so I can get that drone higher. Wow. That's pretty up there. Ha, this is so freaking cool. 
So let's take this for a flight further away. So I do have on um, the drone in line of sight. But it is interesting to see how far and how high this drone can go. There's that train over there. Guys, this looks um, pretty small with my eyes right now. It's that high up. It's 117 meters high. Just gonna zoom out a little bit. Hey guys. So let's get this down. So get subscribed for my full review. Again, I'm not a professional drone pilot, but I will be reviewing this. I'll give you, the average person, my feedback on the drone and let you know if it's worth purchasing. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.